Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Hello, dear friends, it's good to be with you. We are excited and happy to be with you now, and we are looking forward to what you are doing today, what you are feeling today, what you are experiencing today, and to what you will choose to create as your state of being, who you will decide to be. Today, we're going to do a little guided visualization, and we're going to encourage you to use your will deliberately to entrain yourself into states of being that benefit you and feel good to you. We always want to encourage you to use your will to lay down new pathways. New pathways and new ways of being, and the creation of those through your focus, is the most fun way for you to be here. You feel like the most you when you feel you're expanding. You're always expanding experience, yet you don't always have the realization of your expansion. Being present in ways that allow you to experience the expansion you're creating, more directly, is the gap we're aiming to close in this sore fest. Yesterday, we walked you through an example of how laying down thought patterns can help you to create new behaviors, can help you to bypass patterns or habits of behavior that are well established gracefully and easily with not too much of an investment in terms of new thoughts. Today, we want to expand upon laying down new thought patterns decisively by inviting you to use the powerful combination of will plus imagination. When you use your imagination on purpose, you are doing what you are most naturally doing in your most expansive state of being. You are unconditionally flowing energy and creating. When you allow yourself permission to think about things, to imagine new ways of being or new experiences, and when you allow that kind of thing to be your focus, you feel better, and you feel more of who you truly are. You can start this very easily, very softly, and it can open up building into such a beautiful experience of momentum, and it can all happen without too much time investment, either. All of the things we are suggesting you do with your focus happen easily, happen through not much shifting, just a little shifting. Let's do some of that together today, deliberately focus and use imagination and will. Let's start here. Take a look around wherever you find yourself right now and just choose one thing about that environment your physical environment, that could be enhanced. Just choose one thing. Allow yourself to imagine that one thing is changing, that one thing. No matter how big or small it is, whatever occurred to you first is the one thing. Allow yourself to feel how you will enjoy that upgrade, and if you like, close your eyes. Allow yourself to feel and reach even further into what might be a first-class version of your environment. Wherever that invitation takes you, let it take you. Be free and open with no cares. Just allow your imagination to flow into what might be a first-class version of the ideal environment all around you and feel that. Feel how wonderful it is to be present in whatever calls to you as an expression of the first-class version of your environment. Feel how nice that feels. Feel how easy and graceful that is. Feel the joy and the beauty of you being in your environment in a way in which you're surrounded by what you feel would be an even better, or an even first-class way that that space might manifest. How might that space be perfect for you and inspire you? Feel that, and feel how wonderful you can feel as you allow yourself to imagine that. Notice that. Notice the way you feel. Let yourself feel it. Feel the sensations of it and put yourself into the imagining of it. Notice the way you move your body in that space. Notice if anyone else is there with you in that space. Notice the temperature and how your skin feels, and notice the view. Notice the way you're moving. Put yourself into the vision, and feel the way you will feel in this beautiful space. Just let it be soft and effortless and dreamy and wonderful, and then let it go. That's it. That's it. That is effortless creativity using your will plus imagination. You've done more than just call forth an upgraded environment for yourself in the manifest experience. You've just laid down some new pathways in your consciousness and entrained your energy into a new way of being. If you felt pretty great while you did that, then things will happen that feel like that more often. 
more of that will start to fill in in the manifest, and if you return to that kind of feeling state, you'll manifest more of that, and ideas about what will also feel that way to you will also come to you. You don't even really need to think about that vision again, but feeling that way whenever it occurs to you can feel wonderful for you, and this is how easy it can be. This is how easy it can be. If you found yourself getting hung up on the how, while imagining, or you felt somehow limited or like you couldn't do it, or as if you don't have permission to have the setting you'd like, then use your will and imagination on something that is easier for you to play with. This is why we say that. What's important here to realize is that, first of all, you've already abundantly, repeatedly created and defined what you want, emanated your preferences. You do it day in day out. Secondly, the primary purpose of using your will to imagine is not just to create. It's to get into a different state and feel differently. It's to use what you think about to get into alignment. The intention here is to use how you're focused to reshape your energy, so you feel better, so you're happier, directly, and the things you focus on are just a means to flow your energy. We keep returning to this idea, but it's so important for you to realize that when you focus on trying to make stuff happen, you get in your way. If you focused on feeling the way you want to feel, you would feel the way you want to feel right now, and the stuff that also feels like that would come, too. When you alter your energy state, the world adjusts to your new state of being. When you use your imagination intentionally, on purpose, with will, or if you want to call it engaging light, whatever words you like, when you use your focus to alter your energy state, you allow yourself to move into new territory in life, new experiences. When you use imagination to do it, you have an unconditional ability to create the way you want to feel, to create new experiences, yes, but to create how you want to feel regardless of what's going on or how life is. This is how you bypass patterns and habits. This is how you allow yourself to know you in new ways and to experience new ways of living. You can lay down new thought patterns this way, and what happens is not just that you create, which you're doing, but you get more familiar with being in these states of being. You get more familiar with thinking about things you like and feeling good, which means you are getting better at allowing what you feel like you want because you're feeling good when you think about it. If you're not feeling good when you do this kind of thing, then whatever you're focused on isn't the thing to focus on. If you're not feeling good, don't push. Just let go and do something easier. Focus on something that feels better. Do something that feels a little bit lighter, because what's always the main event in life is how do you feel? How do you feel, and are you feeling as good as you want to and as you can right now? We say this to you, repeating many ideas, knowing that many of you still spend a lot of time trying to create what you want. We want you to understand in a way that's going to liberate you, that what you want, you've already asked for. It's already done. We said the other day, it's en route to you. For most of you, with most things you want, you've asked for them many, 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 many times. What isn't happening? It's not the creating part of that equation. It's the receiving part. You have created it. It's trying to come to you. It can't come to you because you're not receptive to it. You've got to get receptive to it, and we're inviting you to play with using your imagination to get into feeling states that are more resonant with the life you want to be living by going right for the feelings. Something as simple as imagining a perfect environment in which you feel more like you, you feel more like the pure you, the one who is joyful and abundant and free and living a glorious first-class life, the you who is not resisting life by trying to figure it all out and do it by yourself through action because you're already living it, that state of being is so beneficial to you. It's so beneficial to you. It's you acclimating to being the real you by imagining in ways that feel good to you. You can do this. You could also do this by remembering something wonderful, ideally, something more like how you want life to be all the time. Anytime you're doing this kind of thing, 
choosing intentionally to get into the feeling states you like, you are entraining yourself vibrationally to be present in that state more often. You're creating a momentum of that kind of energy so that you can allow more of that kind of experience to come forth and be realized by you as direct manifestation. The aim here is the feeling state, because the aim here, is more alignment. The aim is the feeling state. You're using your will to be who you want to be, not who you have been. You're using your will, your choice of focus your imagination to get into states of being that line up with the life you want to be living, and you do it by feeling your way into it because that's what it's all about. Do this. Get in. Feel it. Use imagination to enjoy it. Let go. Little moments like this are very helpful for you, and they're very wonderful because they acclimate you to the life you want to be living and the way you want to feel. You could have many moments like this each day. You could pause a few times every day and do this kind of thing for just a few moments. If you did this more often and stopped while it was still feeling really good, you would be easily acclimating to different states of being. All of that would be tuning you to who you want to be, the version of your life you want to be living. Isn't it easy? This is easy. This is fun, and it feels good. We say this is mastery, so try it and enjoy it. As you're doing it, remember, the point is to feel the way you want to feel, so don't spend your time taking score of how things are showing up. Let the point be I feel better more often, and I'm learning how to use my imagination to feel more the way I want to feel, and I'm using my imagination to discover how it feels to be me in ways that are really, really fun and really, really elevating. I do it whenever it occurs to me, and I get in and out, and it's fun. Let it be light. Let feeling be your aim. Let that be your goal, and let life, let creation deliver what comes to you from that without demanding or evaluating how fast or how well it's producing. Focus on feeling better. Focus on alignment. If you would make that your aim in life and use your will for that purpose, Life would get so good so fast you wouldn't believe it. But you can't pretend to do this for this feeling and be doing it hoping five minutes later, something marvelous is going to manifest. It won't work. You have to learn to be honest with yourself and feel the difference. As you do this, you can discover your unconditional capacity to be in alignment and feel good and be happy. You can find out what that's like and you can get better and better at generating states of being like that for yourself in which you feel wide open and free. You can do this out of love for you and with the knowledge that there's only now. There's only now, and if now, you imagine on purpose in a way that feels awesome to you, the only thing that can come from now is more awesome, so focus on the feelings. Use your will to strengthen your joy muscle, your capacity to be who you truly are. We are complete.